Your Signature Glow clients, including brides, deserve the best, and that includes a finishing and setting powder for their spray tan. Everyone knows that putting on clothes after a spray tan can seem uncomfortable, even if you're using clear tanning solution. It's so much better for your client if they have a little bit of protection between their spray tan and their clothes. And that's where a setting powder comes into play. Bronzed Berry's setting power is unique in that it's talc free and made with the same high quality mineral makeup that's on the market today. I'm gonna show you how to use this setting powder on your client to help set and seal in their tan so they can get dressed with confidence and go on about their day. It helps to make their tan dry faster and it's a more comfortable experience. This is definitely a luxury service add-on. You're gonna open your powder up and make sure that it's only half opened there and just a little bit of powder is out. A tip I like to do and use is to just kind of gently shake it and get just a little bit of powder out. We're gonna use your standard spray tan gun to apply this powder to your client. That is unique to Bronzed Berry. And I created this technique specifically because we do not want to touch our client's skin. And we don't have a ton of brushes for every single client. So I created this technique so that you can go straight from your setting powder and your standard spray gun to apply it right to your client. Keep doing this until you've covered your client with the powder. Even though it looks like I'm using a lot of product, I really am not. I'm going slow and using a very little bit. The main areas you really want to focus are where the creases are. So arm, clavicle, neck. Don't ever spray powder directly up into somebody's face. You actually can avoid the face altogether if you wish. or just like when we spray tan someone's face, have them close their eyes and hold their breath while you're applying this powder. Don't forget the back of the knees and under those smile lines. Those are the kind of areas that tend to feel sticky for a long time. So if you're not gonna cover the entire body, make sure you get those main crease areas with your setting powder.